to take a moment just to uh, thank my sponsor, c60evo.com forward slash YAFTV. As you can see below, you can use the code uh, YAFTV for 10% off. And if you contribute to the channel, you get 15% off with a different code sent to you in an email. And a lot of people have frequently asked questions. So I'm doing some short videos here with Chris over at uh, C60 Evo, the chief scientist there. And today we're gonna ask him another question. Free, thank you for having me. I'm I'm excited to jump into these questions. They've always been so good. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah, people have uh, often asked the same ones. And, and so I wanna bring this one to you today. This one is um, two things. One is people are consistently worried about rumors that C60 Evo or, or Carbon 60 products can carry things for big pharma as a, you know, a cell delivery platform, you know, with a payload attached as a, a nanolipid particle, right? And so I want you to address that. And then I also wanted you to tell me, hey, what is the scariest story uh, that's out there about ESS60? And, uh, you know, what's the, what's the happy, what's the happy ending there? <laughs> Ooh, maybe we should have saved this for Halloween because it is, it is kind of a scary story. Um, I, I often talk about, you know, the health supplement, <clears throat> uh, C60 Evo, the formula and this molecule, the molecule was discovered in 1985. The three scientists who discovered it won the Nobel prize in 1996. Uh, and it's great for industrial applications, which typically already makes people nervous. Uh, and then when they hear that it got put into a toxicity study, you're like, wait a minute, it, a toxicity study? Yeah, because some of the shapes on the exterior of this soccer ball shaped molecule that we call ESS60 are reminiscent of benzene. So they just assumed this would be toxic. Now, from here on, the story starts to get a lot better. They put it in a toxicity study. Actually, my lab provided the material and were mentioned in that original publication. Uh, no, that's a really important point. Can you elaborate a tiny bit on that? Yeah. So um, this was done. The, the publication came out mid-2012. My lab provided the material. And at the time, we were thinking it's a toxicity study. We're like, okay, we'll just provide the material. And then it's something like five years later, uh, we see this publication. It was like, hey, that was our material. Oh, yeah. They mentioned us in that original publication. And, and we happened to be here in Houston where they discovered it. They actually discovered the molecule at Rice University here. So we're in the same neighborhood we actually visited with their um, with the research department that actually discovered the molecule. So instead of being toxic, they put it in this toxicity study, the test subjects that they gave the C60 EVO formula to lived 90% longer than the control group, right? So, so that's the scary pieces. Oh, we thought it was toxic. Uh, they actually lived, it, it lived 90% longer. And just to share, our most consistent testimonial is people take it in the morning, they report mental focus and energy during the day, and then better sleep that night. Now, the, the next piece is, can this be a payload? And a lot of people think in terms of this ESS60 molecule, and they know that it looks like a soccer ball and they know that there's a, a void in the middle of it. And it does turn out that it, the void is big enough for any atom on the periodic chart to fit inside of it. The problem that a lot of people are like, oh, then it could be loaded and there could be this payload that's dangerous trapped inside of it and then delivered to specific locations. The reality is, is you can only get one or two atoms of any atom on the periodic chart of any element on the periodic chart into the molecule. So there's there's literally nothing you could do with any two atoms that are on the periodic chart. Uh, and so that really should assuage your concern that they're going to use this as a, as a something to deliver a, a, a kind of harmful payload. Oh, that's fantastic. Great answer. So well said. I know that's going to give a lot of people out there, uh, you know, what they need to hear to understand what's going on with this. And um, for everyone out there, I hope you're enjoying these uh, short question and answers with Chris over at C60 Evo, and we'll see you at the next one.